Hey guys, in this video, let's create an animated number counter in Figma. This is how it looks like. This is going to be a fairly simple video. All right, and we'll wrap this up quickly. All right, so let's dig in. So I already have my setup ready. Okay, I'm using an artboard for an iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can use any kind of artboard that you want from here. All right, so that is not an issue at all. You can use this on any uh, type of screen, size of screens, etc. So let's start by adding the numbers into these boxes. All right, I'm gonna hit T for text and hit one to add in my number. Let's align that properly within these boxes. So it's properly center line. Okay. Next, let's add number vertically. All right, so we want the numbers to vertically animate, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. All right, now this is enough, but if you want the numbers to animate for a longer period of time, it makes sense to add in more numbers to the sequence. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to go to the prototype settings and uh, change the animation time to extend a bit longer, but that sort of slows things down and we don't want it to be that slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in more numbers to this existing numbers. Uh, so just below zero, I'm going to hit enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. All right. So we have one to zero and again one to zero twice all right so let's align these numbers inside the box and the first number that i want in all of these boxes is zero so i'm aligning zero there all right next i'm going to control d to duplicate this num these numbers and i'm going to drag it to the next box all right Hit Ctrl D again to duplicate it, duplicate and duplicate it again. All right. Next, I want to select all these numbers and group it. And then I'm going to right click on the numbers and select frame selection. All right. And I'm going to hit on clip content. So I'm, gonna, I'm inside my frame selection right now. And with that selected, I'm going to hit clip content. And then I'm going to select the edge of the frame, hit my command key or control key if you're on Mac and drag it within the box like this. Right here. I'm going to do the same to the top portion of the frame as well. Drag it place it inside the box make sure it's equal all right so yeah that was it and now we will animate these numbers in the next uh, artboard all right so we're going to hit my artboard and say Control d to duplicate it all right now this is where we're going to animate our numbers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the frame on the artboard 2 and select uncheck clip content and then i'm going to align the numbers to the numbers that i want to see animated so i want five then i want six or seven or whatever Say nine then I want to use the sequencing from the top. So I want to move the top numbers down inside the box now. So I'm going to say one and next. All right, so I've added in the numbers that I want to see animated. Okay, so let's click on our artboard again and select clip content. Let's select our frame again and clip content so that we don't see all the numbers bleeding outside the box. All right. So now it's time to animate it and let the fun begin. Okay, I'm going to hit on prototype. Then I'm going to select this button and I want the numbers to animate when somebody hits play. Right. So I'm going to select this button and add it to the next box, next artboard. 
and I'm gonna say on tap navigate to that's right to this frame that's correct as well and I want it to smart animated and I want it to be is in and out so I want it to uh, animate smoothly but I want it to have a sort of uh, the jerky feeling at the end so that you know people see, feel that the number has stopped all right so I'm gonna add that and I'm gonna <clears throat> do the same thing to the button on the artboard too as well because I do want to hit refreshing my page right the settings are gonna be the same 2000 milliseconds so that's roughly uh, two seconds and let's check yes that's two seconds as well all right so let's go and hit play there you have it so you can tweak your settings here if you want to uh, if you want to make it much faster you can always uh, reduce it let's say uh, uh, let's do it around thousand 1200 right uh, let's do the same here as well let's keep it to 1200 milliseconds hit play all right at the end you can see it's you know you have the jerky feeling right it kind of stops abrupt halt but uh, that's what we wanted so you can adjust that as well you can say ease in probably no nah, it's too smooth all right guys uh, so that was it uh, it was fairly uh, quick and simple and uh, you can add this to a lot of your projects as well. You can make things look interesting when somebody lands on a page and there are numbers there and you want to animate it a bit rather than just keeping them still. Uh, it will look good. You can use this on a lot of games uh, where you have to show scores, etc. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like, share and uh, subscribe to the channel so I can uh, get you more of these kind of videos. Alright, I'll see you in the next video then. Thank you.